day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to talk about dividing radicals with the same index. So here are the steps in dividing radicals with the same index. So first step is to divide their coefficient and their radicals separately. It is like the same as or it is the same as multiplication but this time we're just simply going to divide the coefficient by the coefficient radicals by radicals. Second step is to simplify the result whenever possible. Now let's go on to our example. Or right. have this example. For example, we're going to simplify this expression. Now in this case, we're going to apply dividing radical expressions. So divide the coefficient by the coefficient radicand divided by radicand. We're going to divide 72 by 2. So we place them inside the radical symbol. So 72 divided by 2, that is 36. So what's the square root of 36? Let's simplify this. Square root of 36 is 6. And that will be our final answer. Alright, let's have another example. For example, we have the cube root of 54 over 16. If we cannot divide them, let's simplify them. So simplifying this, they have a greatest common factor which is 2. So let's divide both numerator and denominator by 2. So 54 divided by 2, that will be equal to 27. 16 divided by 2, that will be equal to 8. And then after that, we're going to rewrite this into this form. The cube root of 27 over 8. So, ayan. To simplify this, okay, to simplify this, we need to get the cube root of the numerator and the cube root of the denominator. Cube root of 27, that is equal to 3. The cube root of 8, that is equal to and our final answer will be equal to 3 over 2. Alright. Alright, let's have our last example for today. So for example, we have the square root of 216 over 27. Now it's too big for us. So for me, I'm going to factor my numerator. So and if I'm handling big numbers, I get the factors of our numerator. Now that I already got the factor of 20, um, 216, okay, so we will just simply rewrite it in this form. 27 times 8 over 27. Now I can apply cancellation because they have the same factor. So cancel, cancel. So, so I'm going to have square root of 8. And let's simplify what's square root of 8. Okay, so let's simplify square root of 8. So we will have square root of 4 times 2. The square root of 4 is equal to 2. And the square root of 2 is and square root of 2. So our final answer will be, will be 2 square root of 2. Now that you already know how to divide radicals with the same index, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skill. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. That's it for today. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video.